He's our friend now. Yeah, we like him. <laughs> Today is the last day that we get to walk down these stairs. Jules. Yeah. Do you feel sad about losing the stairs? <laughs> A little bit, but I'm looking forward to our project. Yeah, guys, we're going to be taking out these stairs because it is time to start connecting the garage to the house. The high garage to the house. <laughs> Just to give you a big picture, this is the house right here. This is the garage. And so our project right now is to connect the two. So that's what we're going to be working on. <laughs> Yeah, let's pull it out from the bottom. Cool, These man. Are the first stairs that we built to go up into our house. Yep. Oh, it's cool, we'll huh? We'll repurpose them, I'm sure. Yeah, maybe they'll be the stairs that in the garage that go down into the garage. I mean, they look a little weathered, but they're still be still cool. Really good. Condition. Yeah, okay. they're perfect stairs. They're really heavy. What do you think these cost right now? Like all this material combined, oh. these are like two hundred dollar stairs. Probably. <laughs> oh, Are they both full? Yeah. Wow, how'd you get so strong? We'll just put them over here. <laughs> you remember when we did this door pan right here? All the work we went into doing all that? Like Marty's kind of a perfectionist, which is a good thing, especially when you're building a house. But the pan was like perfect. All the edges, everything was perfect. Yeah, we put a lot of work into learning how to install this door. And now it's going to get torn out. Not for a while though, but eventually that door is getting torn out and the hallway continues on over here to the garage we're actually probably going to put it right here aren't we does it open the right way i guess it doesn't really matter which way it opens so if this is the doorway right here which you can you can see right here there'll be a closet right here and there'll be a closet over here too yeah and there'll be one yeah so i guess so we can matter. use that same door and i think it's cool that it has a window in it and it'll go out to the garage that way you can look into the garage without having to open the door yeah like when it's cold if i'm out there working you can like look out and spy on me no, you have to work in the garage. I might. No. We don't have a shop yet. <laughs> There's a mysterious noise. Hear that? There's a mysterious, slow dunk, dunk noise. It's in the apartment. What could that be? Did you guys close the door last night? No. Oh, it was a bird. It was a bird. It was a woodpecker? I don't think it's a woodpecker though. You think he was making that dunking noise? Yeah. I don't see anything that he's done up there. I guess one thing good about not doing wood siding is woodpeckers don't like to peck on it. Look at the hole he made. What? Look. <gasps> oh man, dude. It's just okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is for the light outside. <laughs> I don't see anything. Yeah, what he did. Hmm. But there is poop, like bird poop right here. Oh, look at that fresh. Fresh bird poo right there and right there. Since we're up here anyway, let me just give you a quick um, update. If you saw our previous video, you saw all the updates that we've done in here, but somebody was asking and I forgot to show the bathroom vent. So it goes over there and goes out right up there. Soon we will have our inspection, hopefully. And then insulation, sheetrock. What's all this one for? What is this? What is this that, oh, I'll show you what that's for. A lot of insulation around it. I know that's four inch. Come look. This is something else I didn't show you guys because I didn't have it done yet earlier. But to me, it's not a good idea. This right here is a four inch fresh air duct, and it's just sitting out that hole right now. This is just the rough end. What this does is, whenever the furnace comes on, it sucks not only the air right that comes through the return right here. This 14 inch duct comes up and goes into there. It also sucks four inches of air, ice cold freezing air from outside and sucks it through the furnace and heats the furnace. Four inches of fresh air coming into the house. I understand kind of why that the why they want that is so that you know you have a, a higher air quality inside the house in the winter time because you close it all up and you just keep breathing the same air over over and over again so they want you to bring fresh air into the house but it seems so energy inefficient yeah 
But that's what you're supposed to do. Those are the rules. Any ideas on that? Any any ideas on how we could make that a little bit more efficient without bringing in all that fresh air? Because even if you went like with a ductless system, what they're gonna want you to do is bring fresh air into the house somehow with um, exhaust fans or input fans or something. They're gonna want you to have fresh air coming into your house and not just opening a window. So we want to measure from this side here of the stem wall down. It should be. 24, oh, 24 feet wide. Yeah, I'll hold this in. Okay. So we want to find the center so that we can figure out exactly where this wall over here is going to be. And we'll measure from the other side. Since the house is 24 feet wide, 12 feet should be in the middle. Look at that, man. 12 feet from the other side was this mark right here. 12 feet from that side is that mark right there. So the house is perfectly 24 feet wide. Now then from this mark, we can measure that way and we can find where that wall is going to be going across. Oh, he escaped. <laughs> nope, didn't get him. Keto's got him. One down. One down. Brazilian to go. <laughs> <laughs> what we got figured out here is then, for this wall that's going to connect from here to the garage, we want to come over 57 inches from the center. So we got two feet for the hallway. We got the two by four wall. We got a two foot closet. Then we've got um, a two by six exterior wall. And that way we can mark the outside of the exterior of the stem wall actually is what we're marking here. Perfect. So you see, we already got this line right here and that is the original line, which we marked before we took the stairs out just to kind of like ballpark where it's gonna be. And man, we're super close to where it's actually going to be. So we'll mark this line and then we'll transfer it to the garage so we can have a, hopefully a straight wall going across here. So we're just using the level here, making sure that the line is plumb. So that's our new line. This is the old line, we'll scribbly map. It's a no-go line. So that was pretty close the first rough time. So that's gonna be the exterior of the stem wall, but the question is, is how do we transfer it over to here? Got a trick for that. All right, so assuming these two buildings are lined up with each other. Which they should be, 201 inches. Now, what we'll do is we'll transfer this line right here, this edge of the house, we'll transfer it over to here, and we'll measure going the other way and see how close we are. We're gonna use the pencil trick to actually transfer this wall over to the garage. So what we have here is this string and then a pencil right here, and we've gotta go underneath this ridge so that it, the pencil's not held up. And this is an, each pencil is an a quarter inch. Then we have another pencil right here. And so then we're going to pull the string across and we're just gonna get it to touch the pencil. I gotta move the grass out of the way because it tends to hold it up. And then we can mark the line over here. So Jules is going to watch this pencil right here and I'm gonna pull the line over there and mark it. All right, so we got our string here. We're gonna hold it up against the wall and we're gonna move it back and forth like this until it just touches the pencil and then we can mark over here and that should be a straight line all the way across plus a quarter inch. Now we can measure down from this side of the house down to our mark and then we'll measure from this mark down and see if they're the same. 87. 87. 87 okay. inches. So now we come over here to our mark and that should be 87 and a quarter. 87 and, it should be 87 and a quarter, right? Huh. So something's off by a half an inch somewhere. Look at this right here. This is our rough end mark that we did before, right? This is our new mark from the front of the house. And this is the mark from the back of the garage. So what I think the problem is, is that the house and the garage are a half an inch difference. They're not perfectly straight across, but a half an inch over 12 feet, I don't think that's gonna be a big deal and you're not even gonna see it when we tie this in together and get it all done. What do you guys think? Half an inch over 12 feet, is that a big deal? I don't think it's gonna be a big deal. Now we need to wait for the excavator to get here so that we can smooth this whole area out and dig a nice big hole over here and over there so that we have a big area to build the forms for our footers and our stem wall. There he is. That's the bird right there. Huh. Oh, you know what he's doing? Maybe he's eating like mosquitoes off the wall or something. Oh, well, we like him then. <laughs> we'll keep him. He might just be like, we might just, because it's not like super loud, <clears throat> but maybe he's 
He's pecking bugs off the wall or off the window or something. What if he's standing right on top of that thing right there and pecking him off the window, right? I mean, he could do that. We need to catch him in the act. <laughs> if it's mosquitoes, then that makes me super happy. Yeah, he's our friend now. Yeah, we like him. <laughs> so, there is not a concrete shortage. There is pallets and pallets of concrete here. Concrete's super heavy, man. <laughs> Whose idea was this? <laughs> 80 pound bags, we got 24 bags, and this cart is like weighted <laughs> down. <laughs> this is only half of what we need, too. Yeah. But our trailer can't hold that much, so we'll have to come back for another load. <laughs> Check this out though. 6405. Price is coming down. I'm through with it. Strap them. Yeah, I'll have to strap. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you yeah. It's right in front of us. It's happening. Now it begins. Way faster with Seth's help. Now we're going back for the second load. We had to get two loads because our trailer can't haul all that concrete. It's super heavy. In this town, it's no longer near. So Thanks a lot, kind citizen, for helping us out. We made it way faster. Here already, so soon. Hello. How are doing? Pretty good. How about yourself? It's time. Give me, give me that sunshine, sunshine. Give me, give me them good. I think we're ready to start leveling this place out. You get to dig in the spots for the footage. Good vibes, good vibes. Give me, give me that sunshine, sunshine. Every day is a new beginning. Every day is a gift to hold up high. Everyone has a way to carry. Everyone has a soul, so let it shine. So far, it's coming out pretty good. We haven't hit the house too hard or anything yet. And Jules is doing an excellent job of scooping up all this loose dirt right here. You know, it didn't look like that much when it was up against the house in the garage, but it's actually quite a pile of dirt. Well, I am kind of disappointed, you guys. Check this out. No eggs, no eggs, no eggs. Chicken, but she's sitting on a golf ball. No eggs. No eggs. Seth collected all of the eggs yesterday and we had a lot, but it is the end of today and we have no eggs. You guys are really slacking. What's up, huh? Where's all your eggs? Do you have a little secret stash out here? Is that what's going on? One of our Polish chickens, the one with the little pom-pom, she's actually missing. And I think that she must for sure have a stash somewhere around here. So I'm gonna see if I can find it. And maybe I will find all the other eggs as well. Also, check out my sloggers. Marty got me chicken sloggers for Mother's Day. They are so cool. I love them. I just want to see what's going on because it's not like them to have so little eggs right now they should be laying a lot and so i want to see because they're free ranging right now if maybe just maybe there's some secret stash of eggs and if so we're gonna have to retrain them walk them in for a little bit and retrain them man the mosquitoes are so bad i don't see anything though just some really pretty flowers but i haven't found cleopatra yet let's see what they do with this Corn on the cob here. We had leftover from the other night. What do you think, Bucky? Do you like it? Try it. Oh. Bam! Level, 
level it's looking good uh, we got this all dug down nice and level in here right here's the old footer right there so what we're planning on doing is digging down here for the footer right and we're just going to dig down and match the footer to footer all the way across and then check this out this is what's going to be really cool each one of these lines right here is a two by 10. So it's gonna be the perfect height to match up exactly with this stem wall right here when we're done. If we get the footers to match up perfectly and there'll be two by 10s, two by 10s are exactly what we're gonna use for the floor joists in here. So every 16 inches, floor joists going across here, right? And we're gonna have our forms totally recycled into floor joists. It's gonna be beautiful. Nothing, nothing. So we got our laser level set up. Now we're just gonna kind of rough it in. Ah, right about there. Come down. All right, so we'll just kind of go with right there for right now. So we know that's really close to where we wanna be. So we're gonna line it up right here with the bottom of the footer. This is the bottom right here. Then we can come across and finish this off with a shovel and get it perfectly, perfectly flat and perfectly in line with this footer so then we can we can extend the footer out this way, extend it out that way, and tie it into that building. That's the plan anyway. Tie the door shut. <laughs> well, look tie at that. Shut. That'd be so dangerous. <laughs> no, we really didn't. We were just trying to keep that string out of the way. Oh, but that would be a big drop. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Say that again. Like Sarah's armpits. <laughs> Well, it's like Sarah's armpits. Dark and mossy. <laughs> <laughs> so and it's on the video now. Well, I'm the editor. Uh -huh. <laughs> Damp and dark and mossy. I guess we'll see if this makes it in the video. <laughs> I'm so glad you're home so Dad has somebody to make fun of. <laughs> Texas, too, huh? Are you glad to All right, home? check it, Jules. That beep's too high. This side is too high. Way too high right there. Yep. Just a little. This spot. Let's see. Too high. high. But over here, low. But it's pretty good. This one's pretty good. Don't go any lower over here, I think. First side of the form up, drive some sticks in there to hold it in place. We might pour some concrete today. Level. Marty, yeah. our solar is loving today. Yeah, Look at that. Yeah. Wait a second. Oh, Scrap yard comes to the rescue again. <laughs> The bone yard, gotta cut this guy at 135 inches. All right, let's see if she fits. Oh, perfect, Jules. Yeah, that looks great. It perfectly. Thanks. That one, it's not perfect, Jules. <laughs> no, it's perfect. It's perfectly snug. Yeah. Better a little big than too small. All right, so it's good right there. And, oh yeah, baby, it's perfect. The heat of the commotion, and that's okay. We're in motion, I can feel the sweat. So hot out here today, man. <laughs> this. <laughs> this right here is our Bulldog Extreme. We're using it to drill the holes into the footer so that we can put the rebar in there and tie the footers together. So we pour this one here. First pieces of rebar going in. Hopefully we drilled the right size hole.
comes in all the way, you can feel when it stops going in, it's like the, the tone of it changes and you can just like feel that it's like a dead thud instead of a very Clang. slow movement in. Our friend Norm is here helping us out, yeah. cutting all our rebar. Cutting some rebar. Thank you so much for all your help. Oh, we are loving it here. <laughs> this is the most beautiful place on the planet. <laughs> and the nicest people. <laughs> he had the rocket all day and night. The world is noisy. And that's all right. Every sound is just a beat. Yeah. Just the other video, man, we were wearing our flannels. Yeah. We were wearing a coat. I know. <laughs> Here we go. Tie those guys together. We can help but be a little through the clatters inside. We're just gonna hose off this front part right here just so that there's a clean surface. Maybe the concrete will bond a little better or bond at all. Plus, you know what? <laughs> Playing with water will feel really good. Yeah. <laughs> just spray me while you're at it. Okay. So in total, guys, for that footer, it took 12 and a half bags to fill it. That's quite a bit. You're dirty. I'm sure I am. <laughs> today or we're gonna call it quits I don't know yet we'll take a look and see what we got going on what time it is let's take a look oh wow you guys are dirty so far today we're looking at whew, brand new footer tied in looking good oh and you're probably wondering who who's this guy named Norm he's got a wife too her name's Kim let me show you if you saw us clearing out the area for the RV there you go man it fits perfectly both side pop outs can come out that's Norm and Kim's RV and this right here is norm tell, tell us a little bit about what you guys are doing here well we thought we'd come up and meet you guys first of all just because you guys are awesome you see the awesome spot that marty cleared for us it fits our uh, trailer perfectly we're a 32 and a half foot trailer we have plenty of room loving it here beautiful spot come check out the back of their rv this is what's really special here see that youtube mountain beaches that is their youtube channel these guys are full-time rv and youtube in part Part-time oh. RVers, full-time adventurers. There you go. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We still have our sticks and bricks home back in Utah. We're on a four-month journey right now. That's and cool. uh, this is one of our, our early stops. So we're Kim and Norm, <laughs> Mountain Beaches on YouTube. And we've had a channel for a couple years couple now. Couple years now. Yep. And our channel's all about RVing. And we have destination videos, how-to videos. Mistake videos. Yeah, how not to <laughs> videos. <laughs> Yep, but you know, our I think our one of our mantras is tomorrow is never promised, and we just really want to get out there and show the U.S. to our viewers, to our family. That's where it all started, and meet new people, new great people yeah, like, like the Marty Johnsons. and Jules. Yep. Yeah, so here we, we are. We are we've been having just a grand time running around this country and exploring and meeting people, 
And like Kim said, tomorrow's never promised, so live for today. So I will link down in the description below to their channel, to one of their best off-grid solar RV videos, and also one of their best destination videos, one of their best travel videos. So go ahead and check them out down in the description below. And if you check them out, make sure to put in the comments of the video that you watch, Martin Johnson Off-Grid Living sent me. So what do you guys think? Should we should we continue on today or should we call this good? I mean, it's looking good. Look at those guys over there. What is going on, man? They look a little tired. So I think we're just gonna go ahead and call it for the day. I've picked out this video right here for you. And in the next video, we will continue attaching the house to the garage. Go ahead, click right here, and I'll see you over there in just a second.